Hi, welcome back to another devlog. Now I know it's been a while since the last video, but I assure you, I've been working hard on the game. The things I've been focusing on this past month is fixing bugs, adding weapons, improving enemies, and improving the UI. The first thing I needed to take care of was bug squashing. Enemies wouldn't enter their stun animation when landing, enemies would re-enter their stun animation when stunned repeatedly, enemies would get stuck in the room they spawned in, and missiles would explode if fired next to a wall. Once I had bugs out the way, it was on to adding upgrades. Now you know how I mentioned the upgrade tree in the last video. Well I realised that I didn't want each upgrade to just be a buff or a status effect. I wanted them to be a big impact on how each weapon played. So now these upgrades are more akin to new weapons. So far I've added two upgrades for the machine gun and two for the missile launcher. For the machine gun we have chain gun and heavy cannon. The chain gun deals heaps of damage, slows movement speed when firing, and overheats if fired for too long. The heavy cannon fires big projectiles that knock back smaller enemies, and can shoot enemy missiles out of the air. For the missile launcher, we have EMP missile and multi-missile. EMP missile has a massive blast radius that stuns nearby enemies, and multi-missile is just fun to use. I put a ton of work into the spider enemy, I rewrote the AI so that they move around more, I added a new attack that uses their turret, I added a turning and landing animation, I made attacks now fire from the correct positions, and I added a little animation to its artillery attack, and it now has over 3000 HP, all in all a much scarier enemy. Now you might have noticed the new UI, energy is no more, it's been switched with missile ammo. When I started this project I thought that having multiple weapons that use energy would be fun, but in testing I found that wasn't the case. There would always be one weapon that was better value in terms of damage to energy cost, which players would use most of the time. So now it is missile ammo, only used by the missile launcher. It is no longer out of 100, now it is divided into groups of 3. Every 3 pickups a player gets gives them another missile. Another part of this new UI is the new crosshair. It has a sweet lock on animation, and displays different information depending on what you're locked onto. It also includes an enemy health bar at the top. Now for the small changes. Faster movement speed for the player, faster attacks for small enemies, doors with a cool animation, bonus damage for shooting enemies in the back, and the player can no longer die from self damage. So I think that covers everything I've been working on recently. Now I'd like to take a moment to talk about my next steps. The first thing I need to do is texturing. So far, the player and enemies don't have a proper texture. I've been putting it off to work on the mechanics of the game instead, but it's definitely time for me to come back to it. The other thing I need to focus on is the level. I want to integrate the tutorial into the first level so as not to break the flow of gameplay. My plan is for the facility the player starts out in to act as a kind of tutorial area, and then later in the level, it opens up into the outside world. I also need to work on lots of unique assets so as to make different rooms feel distinct and to make it feel more like a real place. Well, that's what I've been up to over the past month. Don't forget to check out the previous devlog linked in the description. I'm still trying to come up with a better name for the game, so if you have any cool ideas, leave them in the comments. See you again in, like, a really long time. <laughs>